So a saltine biscuit Benedict, first bite. I feel like it's gonna be my favorite. Oh my god, what an explosion of flavors. Mmm, roqueta. Oh, it's amazing. What's up everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in my hometown of Miami. And today I'm driving to Coral Gables to a pop-up restaurant called Sansara. This is where my friend Andres and his girlfriend Sachi are making Cuban-inspired food. Sansara means the cycle of life and rebirth. The goal at the restaurant is to create cuisine that has the soul of Cuban food, but rethought through fresh eyes. Think Cuban food for our generation. Even though it's only a pop-up, Sansara has been mentioned in Bon Appetit as one of the 15 places to get Cuban food in Miami. Currently, they're doing brunch every Sunday from 10.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Keep in mind, there's still a pop-up, so make sure to check out their Instagram to see what they're up to. All right, let's go to Sansara and eat some delicious Cuban food. Let's do it. We open at 10.30, man. I know, I know. <laughs> Come on, dude. You ready, dude? You ready? Ah! How are you Hi. doing? Good, how are you? Very good. Hey, my name is Andres Vega. I'm co-owner and uh, one of the chefs for Sansara. I own it with Sachi Stats, my girlfriend and my favorite person on earth. We met in culinary school and we had an idea to try and help Cuban food get pushed a little further. We went over to Spain, we did some cooking there and we realized that no one comes to Miami for any kind of special Cuban food. So we opened Sansara, which is the circle of life, death and rebirth. And the idea is that we're keeping that soul of Cuban food that we know. So we're using some of the ingredients, some of the techniques, a lot of the resourcefulness that the Cuban people have. And we're just trying to present it in a new way and give it new life and a new birth. The menu plays out. We try and go for some classic Cuban hits. Uh, we have a croqueta cake benedict. It's our play on a eggs benedict and also croquetas. So like classic croquetas, saltine, croqueta, lime juice. We have a saltine biscuit, a croqueta, and a lime hollandaise. So it's the same idea, just presented differently. We've got a mango gazpacho. Gazpacho is a classic, classic Spanish dish. Mangoes, Cubans love, everyone loves mangoes. So we just paired them together. It's like cold, it's great for the summer. We also have pancakes, which makes no sense for Cuban menu, but we pair them with just these beautiful strawberries and, a bl and an orange mascarpone icing. It's, uh, we call it a, a creamsicle icing, it's delicious. So we do take some inspiration from Miami as well as the Cuban culture. And lastly, if you need some dessert, we have a Café Con Leche Japan Purdue. It's like a French toast. We soak old bread in Cuban coffee for 24 hours. We bake it and we hit it with some leche evaporada foam and coffee caramel. Cuban coffee. Mmm, dude. Great coffee. Amazing. This Cuban coffee is really strong. Oh, wow. So because they're a pop-up restaurant, people line up and wait for them to open up. It's pretty amazing. Hey, it's 10.30, I'm gonna open. Everyone has a reservation? Yeah. Awesome, let's do it. They can't hear right here. You guys have reservations yeah. for yeah. the day under Who's the name right Croqueta cake benedict, shrimp roll, pancakes, Mango gazpacho, papaya salad with puerco. Perfect, so what do we got here? This is our maduro hash with huevo frito. It's sofrito and plantain, tossed with a little bit of garlic and a fried egg on top. First plate we got here is huevo fritos with maduro hash. Dude, it looks amazing. Oh my god. I'm super excited. So first, pop that yolk. Oh my god. The aroma. It smells amazing. Oh no no it's not. Oh my god. Mm. Great combination. Oh I need a few more bites before I can make my opinion here. <laughs> I love the Maduro though. So you guys don't know what Maduro's are? That's sweet plantain. It's actually very sweet. But I love the way the yolk runs through it. Oh love it. Yeah, it's super good. Mm. So eggs, the sweet plantain, just get, has a very, very sweet flavor. You know, I love that it's sweet. It's like really sweet. Mm -hmm. I really shouldn't finish every plate, but I'm gonna have to. It's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take one of these for my wife. If you're into salty slash sweet dishes, this is perfect, especially for breakfast. The best way to break my fast. 
Our next plate is the croqueta cake benedict. Oh my god, what's in this thing? So a saltine biscuit benedict with cabbage on top. Dude, this looks amazing. The presentation is incredible. Yeah, boom. Oh wow. First bite. I feel like it's gonna be my favorite. Oh my god. What an explosion of flavors. Mmm, roqueta. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, the hollandaise sauce. This is like, this is my favorite ex Benedict now. And the cabbage gives it a perfect blend. Oh my god, roqueta. No, this plate's like addictive. It's incredible. Mmm. So the way you gotta do it is like that, just right there, nice. Yolk has to run through it all. Yolk, croqueta, oh. I've never had eggs benedict with croqueta in it. The problem is when you're eating like seven plates, you gotta limit yourself a little bit. Maybe I should finish it though. <laughs> Dale que tu I'm pretty asleep right now and it's Sunday morning, so I ordered a colada. This is like a really, really strong Cuban coffee. Ooh. Oh, it's so good though. If you guys don't know about Cuban coffee, you can get it like four different ways. Regular Cuban coffee is like an espresso. You can get colada, which is like basically two or three or four espressos. Very big, you're supposed to share it. Then there's cortadito, with, so it's coffee with a little bit of milk. And then you have cafe con leche, which is like 80% milk and 20% coffee. I always have it straight like this, colada. Oh, it's amazing. For the papaya style, it starts with our pork belly. The pork belly, we brine for 12 hours. Our brine, we actually let it sit for 12 hours. It's got rosemary, it's got thyme, it's got parsley, garlic, peppercorns, honey, salt. We throw it in two pans, we make a palm sugar glaze. We glaze the pork belly after we get a nice hard sear on the outside. And then we make our papaya salad and our trusty mortar and pestle. This is a Thai mortar and pestle. We use this because it keeps the integrity of the vegetables while releasing some of their liquids. So we put the papaya in there, we hit it with the mortar and pestle, it's spectacular. And we combine the whole dish. We go on a cold plate, cold papaya salad with green beans, peanuts, tomatoes. Our dressing's made of uh, key lime juice, tamarind water, palm sugar paste, and fish sauce. And then we put it all together with some peanuts on a cold plate with the hot pork belly, and then we pour some of that glaze on it for good measure. All right, so here we have the papaya salad with pork belly. This is my favorite Thai dish, so I love it. They've made a twist. Pork belly, obviously very Cuban. Look at this. What? This is insane. Pork belly is so juicy. The papaya salad is not too hot. I love it. I love it. It's hot with the cold. It's like perfect. The pork belly is outstanding. The glaze on the pork belly. It's like Cuba and Thailand married each other on a dish. Seriously. This is the go-to dish. I'm gonna eat this every time I come here. This is so freaking good. This is the best dish. This is the best dish. I'm in love with this dish. Now it's pasta time. What we're starting with is cafe con leche pan perdue. And this is basically whole bread that has been soaking in cafe con leche for 24 hours. So this is like a play on you know having Cuban bread and dipping it into your, your coffee or milk. It looks amazing. And on top we have um, leche vaporada, so uh, evaporated milk foam. Oh my god. Oh yeah. This looks amazing. Oh my god. Mm. Oh wow, the sugar on top. Incredible. You can really taste the cafe con leche. This is the ultimate Cuban bread with cafe con leche. Oh. And I love the way he torched sugar on top, like he burnt sugar into it. It's a great mix with the cafe con leche. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this whole thing, but I'm gonna do it. It reminds me like a French toast, like a nice fluffy French toast. Oh yeah, good. <laughs> so here we have a twist on a Spanish gazpacho. They do it with mango, because right now it's mango season in Miami, summer. Oh, I love gazpacho. My brother-in-law is Spanish, so whenever I go to Spain, I drink it every morning. Oh, it's amazing. Mmm. Oh, nice and cold. Amazing, love it. Super refreshing. It's a great way to cleanse the palate. You know, I basically just finished my meal. I'm finishing with my second dessert. 
Mmm. It's like a little chunk of mango. It's my, it's my last dish. My last dish. So refreshing. Oh, it's amazing. Wow, Sansara was ridiculous. I ate so much. I'm so full, but I'm super happy because the food was insane. It was delicious. Every single dish was incredible. But if I had to say my favorite dish, I'm a little biased. I love papaya salad, but this is probably the best papaya salad on the planet. Mixed with the pork belly and that glaze. Oh, just the perfect combination. Gotta give a big thanks to my friend Andres and Sachi. This place is amazing. I love Sansara. If you're in Miami on a Sunday, come down to Coral Gables, go to Sansara. It's open 10.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Be here at 10.30 a.m. There's a line out the door. I would make reservations. Just check them out on Instagram and make your reservations today for the next time you're in Miami. You have to eat their food. If you're looking for Cuban food, this is probably the best Cuban food in Miami. Thanks, guys. I hope you love this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next adventure. Thank you.